It's a story you'll only see right here on NBC 26. Do you know what's in your food and what it could do to your body? More and more, we're hearing how organically grown food is better for us, but it also puts added stress on your wallet. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel investigated whether paying more for organic food is really doing more for your body. She joins us now with what she's learned. I toured an organic farm and a conventional farm right here in Northeast Wisconsin to get a first-hand look at what the difference is, and the results may surprise you. Decisions, decisions. How do you know what to get at the grocery store? There's more marketing than ever urging you to buy organic, which according to consumer reports, can cost on average 47% more than conventional food. But you have to base your choices on facts, not fear. There's a lot of fear marketing in food. NBC 26 visited these three farms in our area to see how the food is grown and raised. We start at Haverly Farms in Egg Harbor. We run 5,000 acres and my brother Mark is in charge of the cattle. We have 350 cows right now. Haverly Farms, a non-organic farm, has been family run since the 1950s, but they've changed quite a bit in that time. Farming has come, become very scientific. Especially when it comes to their dairy operation. The cows get the same diet. It's tested every two weeks. The feed goes in for tests feed samples. The cows are fed corn and hay, never given hormones, and milked daily. And right here is the sprinkler system for when it gets hot in the summer. Spending most days in this barn. And when it comes to planting, there's thousands of acres to care for. Everything has to be pretty precise on what nutrients are going in the ground, how accurate it is, how well it's reported and documented. They spray the crops with pesticides, but they need approval from state and federal agencies. There's uh, about 10 different people that need to know everything. Before organic crop farmers like Rob and Calvi, pesticides must meet different standards. Nothing that we're using is synthetic, so its persistence in the soil is low. Um, every, all the fertilizers that we're using are National Organic Program approved. She grows all sorts of vegetables in Fond du Lac to sell at the farmer's market, saying local food is fresher. Compared to the grocery store, there's a much smaller environmental impact when you're purchasing local food. And just down the road in New Holstein at GW Organics, they raise cows, chickens, and pigs. The beef and cows, they eat grass solely, no corn, no soy, no anything else other than grass. That method of farming has been proven to add more omega-3 fatty acids to milk, but only in whole milk. Helps your brain function, helps your eye function, helps your immune system to fight off diseases. It's really important. The cows at GW Organics are never installed barns. They're fed a diet of hay in the winter and eat the grass on this hill once the snow melts. My cow is a spreader. My cow is a mower. My cow is, you know, a nutrient provider for the soil and we provide the soil back to the animals. So we asked a dietitian, does organic food really benefit your body more than conventional food? Nutritionally wise, there's not a huge difference. But Jill Calward says if you can afford to buy organic, locally grown vegetables and fruits, do it to avoid pesticides, especially in foods where you eat the skin. There's research out there that it may cause cancer. It may, you know, it may cause other immune defects, but they don't really know. And when it comes to the debate on price... We're not that far-fetched, and we're really not that, um, you know, off-priced when it comes to organic agriculture. I am just fine purchasing traditionally raised food. I would never pay the extra money for organically grown food, only because I've seen both farms, both are good. The argument wages on. Now that you've seen both types of farms, ultimately, it's up to you to choose which kind of food you want to feed your family. Keeping you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. According to the USDA, organic food sales have risen by more than 70% in the last eight years. For more information about organic foods, just head to our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.